So this is Hazel. This is Hazel, and where she's going to demonstrate the larger, the largest of the pet masks that we are um, having donated this morning. So what we do with these is it's a little bit tricky when their mouth is open, but we put the mouth and the nose through the mask, just as, like so, and it provides a suction. This rubber gasket on the other side provides a suction to get a good fit, and then we hook this tubing up to our oxygen, and we're able to provide immediate care to the animal. She does pretty well with that, huh? Well, she's, yeah, I mean, sit most of the time. <laughs> the okay. chief clinic veterinarian for the Humane Society of Boulder Valley. Very good. Tell me a little bit about why uh, everybody's excited about these now. So, um, as we know from any kind of fire exposure, smoke exposure, um, oxygen is very critical for uh, humans, but it also is with pets, and it's something that we haven't been able to effectively provide to the pets that have been exposed to these fire situations. Um, it can make a huge difference in long-term recovery. Um, just getting them the oxygen that they need short-term just to get to a veterinary facility. Um, but it can be very life-saving. It really just goes to show the um, commitment that we have to pets in the community and that they are family members and that they are, um, you know, we have a huge amount of that and that's important. So in the past we've seen firemen actually use uh, mm -hmm. human design yep. or, or design for humans. Yep. Why is these better than those? So these can form a more uh, close seal, specifically around the actual nose and muzzle of the animal. And because of that, we can effectively deliver more oxygen in a shorter period of time.